Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Teddy Tuesday edition of United We Move. My name is Teddy Savage, coming to you guys live from Charm City, Baltimore, and I'm super excited to announce that every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I have the esteemed privilege of leading you awesome folks through some great work in, right? I say it's awesome because this is going to give us the opportunity to go on a journey together to learn from one another, right? To not only train together, but to also learn the fundamentals of functional movement, strength, stability, and balance, and a whole slew of different topics. But today's topic is all about connecting the dots, going from exercise to functional movement and being able to connect those things in between. What I want you guys to understand is we don't have to be world-class athletes in order to move like one. I'm gonna show you guys because I'm gonna have we all explore different exercises and sports and different elements to show you guys that you can be a world-class athlete and move just like one. At the end, we'll be able to triumphantly proclaim that we're all champions, okay? Now, this is how it's going to work. Each sport is going to have two separate elements to it. I'm going to give you guys modifications, but like you guys know, it's going to be good news and it's going to be great news. The good news is we don't have to go to the ground. The great news is this circuit is going to be one time through. We're gonna go from boxing to speed skating. We're gonna to go to basketball and then we're gonna finish up and track and field. We're gonna do all of that from the friendly confines of your own living room. But I can show you better than I can tell you. So let's get going. Now, like I always say, any great work in starts with a great warm up. And if you're gonna get your body ready for movement, you better have a dynamic warm up prepared. And so let's get moving, okay? Now, I want you guys to stand about shoulder width apart because we're about to get our warm up started. I want you to drive your left leg up over your right knee, stride out, hands towards the screen, and then chest towards the sky. Really get your eyes up and feel it through your abdominal chain and your hip flexors, okay? Now let's go opposite leg. Drive that right leg up, stride out, and reach up towards the sky. Again, this is getting our total body ready for movement. Let's go left leg again. Drive that leg up, stride out, arms towards the screen, and now let's go up. Now you should be feeling this in your abdominal chain, your hip flexor right here, and even your low back. Let's go right leg, here we go, drive up, stride out, arms towards the screen, baby, I can feel you, chest up, chin up, eyes up, and let's go back. Okay, so now we got a good step and stretch for the upper body, let's engage the trunk, okay? Everything we do, core engagement is key. So let's take the left knee, drive up, stride out, now hands together and twist over your lead leg. Come on right back and come back to rest. Let's go right leg, step over the left knee, stride out. Hands together and twist. Notice my whole torso is twisting, not just my hands, okay? Let's go left leg again, drive up, stride out. Hands together and twist over that lead leg. Now in your mind, you're thinking, I'm getting ready to be a professional boxer, professional speed skater, and then a professional basketball player and finish with track and field. So let's go down to a dynamic warm up, getting our hamstrings engaged, okay? What I want you guys to do is stride up, walk out, and sweep down towards your feet. Feel it in the back of your legs. Step back. Let's step now, step out with the right. Stride, good. Reach and sweep, outstanding. Step back to rest. Let's go left leg again. Let's drive it up, good. Feel empowered, guys, because today is gonna be all about us working together as a team. Right, let's go right leg one more time. Step up, stride out, standing job. Now guys, remember, it's all about loving on one another. So I want you guys to send those virtual high fives, smiley faces, love faces, whatever you wanna do, but just please send it not only to me, but everybody else, okay? Don't forget to share this with your friends, your family, your coworkers, but make sure you use hashtag United We Move. So now that we got the body limbered up, now I wanna get my heart rate elevated because it's important to get ready for rigorous activity by getting closer to our target heart rate zone. We're gonna do so by doing a couple of bending reaches. We'll do it to a four count just like this. One, two, three, four. If you can, add a plyometric hop to it. One, two, three, four. Come on with me. One, two, three, four. Good, breathe into your nose, out through your mouth. Outstanding. One, two, three, four. Mom, I know you're watching this. I know you're up in the living room reaching with me, ma. I love you. One, two, Three, four, good. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, this is what professional athletes do before they perform any event. Outstanding, one, two, three, four. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, good. Let's go two more. 
two, three, four. Last one. One, two, three, four. Outstanding. Now, the last thing we're going to do, okay, is jumping jacks. It's an oldie but goodie. Like I said last time, professional athletes do it. People in the armed forces do it. We're doing it in our living room. So take a look, okay? If you don't want to have impact to your knees, your ankles, or your low back, just do this modification, just like that. Step out to the side, but keep those arms swinging. This is going to make sure that we get blood flow through the entire body. Your muscles need proper blood flow and oxygen to be able to perform, okay? Now, if you don't have to worry about impact to your lower body, let's go traditional. Here we go. All right, and in our minds, we're getting ready for game time, baby, because it's all about game time. United, we move family. Team, we going in all day, okay? Good. Breathe in through your nose. That's what I'm talking about. Lisa from Tennessee, I want you to come with me through all four sports and just give me all you got. That's all I'll ever ask for. Here we go. Last three. One, two, three. Good. Outstanding. Okay, guys. So this, once we get started, if you guys need to take a break, get a shot of water, or just do the modification, remember, this is at your pace. Your work equals your results, okay? Now, before we get into it, let me show you what the active rest looks like. And it's just going to be a side-to-side -side step. Now, whilst we're doing that active rest, I'm going to demonstrate what we're going to do. So the first sport you guys do that active rest is boxing. They call it the sweet science, okay? Now, we're going to start with a defensive move, okay? So I want you to stand about hip width apart, but stagger your stance. Either right leg forward or left leg forward, whatever you feel most comfortable. Okay, so we're here. Soft knees, that means bend those legs, okay? Hands right here by your chin because you don't want to get hit, right? Now imagine there's a rope, but from your shoulder, going straight through that screen. And you got to get under that rope. All right, this is called bob and weave. Bob and weave. But you're not weaving punches today. Today you're weaving fears, doubts, concerns, anything that's keeping you from being happy, okay? So right now, let's go. Get under that rope. We're gonna do this for 40 seconds, all right? 40 seconds. But at the 20 second mark, we're gonna go from being defensive to countering with positivity, throwing some jabs, throwing some hooks, and really just set yelling out there what makes us smile. If you can, let's move forward and backwards, forward and backwards, just like that. Feel it, feel it in your quads. You're gonna feel it in your lower body. Now, Patty, keep working for me, okay? Now, if you want to, you just stay in place and bob and weave just like that. But remember, you got to drop those hips and get under that rope, okay? You guys ready to counter with some positivity? Yes, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Here we go. Ready? Jab. Jab. That's right. Get under the rope. Hook. Hook. That's it. One. Jabs. Three. Four with the hooks. One. Tell me in the comments what you're defeating that negativity with, okay? Uh, I'm defeating it with family, reverence. Good, good, positive thoughts, affirmation. Keep going, get under the rope, jab. Last 10 seconds, back 10 seconds, keep going. I'm hooking all day. You guys throw whatever punch you want. Throw a couple of uppercuts in there. Three, one, boom. So now on the ground, it's all of those doubts, all of those fears, all of those worries. You're standing over top victorious, okay? Boxing is not all about bobbing and weaving and countering. It's also about coordination with your feet, okay? So we're gonna do a shuffle drill. I want you to have your left foot forward, your right foot back, but notice my back foot, heel is off the ground, okay? Now, this is a synchrony between lower and upper, so we're gonna alternate, keeping our right leg and left arm tied together, okay? All right, here we go. It's gonna be a four count, just like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you can't do that because of those low knees, just tap it out, baby. You guys ready? I can't see you, but I can feel you. Let's go, United We Move family. Get it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. PFGP, I feel you. I see you. Stand up for me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. Lower body and upper body. Movement together. Burn those calories, baby. Make sure you're breathing. In through your nose, out through your mouth. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep going. Keep moving. You should feel like a boxer right now. You should feel like you're moving around that squared circle. Hey, last 10 seconds. Best 10 seconds. Finish strong with me, guys. 
Good. Good. I see it. I feel you out there, Ferrari. Keep moving. And Maryland, good. And relax. Outstanding. So that was boxing. Now we're going to go from the square circle right over to the ice skating rink, okay? And speed skating is one of those great total body ex exercises. It's a sport that involves balance and stability. And I want you guys to focus on that with me. First movement is all about balance. I want your right leg down, left leg up. We're gonna hold, okay? We're gonna hold that for 20 seconds. And then when I say reach, <laughs> you're gonna go from here and reach down towards the opposite knee, or if your range of motion permits, or all the way down to your toe. You guys ready? Just like this. Important aspect is that you step over the opposite knee. Take a look. Driving that leg up, my quad should be parallel to the ground. Good. Now, if you're feeling it in your lower half, that's good. That's called your stabilizers. They go from your ankles to your knee to your hip. And if you're feeling it right now, that's great because it's all about improvement with balance and equilibrium, okay? So now, let's reach. Then, touch that knee and come back to rest, just like this. If you need to, put your hand against a wall or a chair. Or if you need to hop, you could do that too, okay? Or just call your small child in there. <laughs> Good, because it's all about making sure and do what you feel like you can and tell yourself you believe. Good. Last three seconds and relax, okay? So Dusty in Colorado, I want you to count how many times you have to put your foot down. And if you do, that's okay because it's not about perfection, it's about improvement. The next time we do this, just try to reduce that number. So now let's keep our left leg down, drive that right leg up and hold for 20. And when I say reach, we're reaching opposite hand to opposite knee or mid shin or toe, whichever your range of motion permits. Guys, we're focusing on balance and stability because we're speed skaters now. Ready? And let's go. Reach. We're going to the knee. Back up. If you can, mid shin. Back up. If you can, get the toe and get back up. I'm wobbling all over because I'm focusing on my stabilizers as well. And it's not about perfection. It's about improvement. Great job. Breathe into your nose. Out through your mouth. I see you guys out there across the world. We're a family right now. We're a team. Last three seconds. Fight through it with me. Three, two, and relax. All right, so now that we've got our balance and stability, let's see how we apply that exercise into functional movement. We'll do an agility drill called speed skaters, okay? And it looks like this. We're gonna laterally explode and get our foot behind our lead leg and reach down to the opposite side. Now, if you can't do that explosion, just step, sweep, reach. Step, sweep, reach, just like that. Step, sweep the back leg and reach to the opposite foot. If that range of motion gives you difficulty, stay upright, step, sweep, and keep your reach up, just cross the midline of your body. All right, you guys feel it, I'm sweating, I'm breathing hard, but this is what it's all about. If you're a former athlete, if you're a current athlete who got your season cut in half, because of our current circumstances, or somebody that always wanted to perform sports but just couldn't, today is your day, okay? Here we go. Ready? Let's get it. I'm exploding. Make sure when you explode, your body is like a spring. By that is, it should be soft landing. Your body should compress, explode. Compress, explode. Kelly from Michigan, I see you. Keep going. Which variation are you doing? Now, Kelly. In your mind, I want you to hear the blade against the ice. I want you to feel the wind against your face because you're digging down that lane. And all you can think about is finishing. Finish strong, okay? Good. I love it. Keep going. Now, if you need to go here, you can do that too. Good. Good. We're still going. Last 10 seconds. You guys can see the finish line, but it's all about finishing stronger than we started. So here we go. Five seconds. Four, three. One, yes, that's a gold medal run right there. That's a gold medal run. And if you guys have ever been ice skating, it's one of the toughest things you could do because you have to have balance and stability. Okay, 
So we've done boxing. Then we did speed skating. Now let's get on the basketball court. Now listen up. I'm no basketball aficionado, but I know a little bit about a little bit. Okay, so I've heard coaches say good defense can generate offense in basketball. So we'll start on the defensive side of the ball. I want you guys to get a nice wide stance, okay? Wider than the hip width apart, wider than the framework of your shoulders. I want you to get your butt back, heels flat, chest up. Take a look sideways. You see, butt back, heels flat. And once you get there, I want you to get wide for me. Put those hands out wide. So we're gonna need to be active with our hands because we wanna defend the dribble drive, but we also wanna contest the shot, okay? Now, JD from Maryland, you know it, brother, because you taught me, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to a three count. One, two, three. One, two, three, active hands. If getting down is too hard for you, stand right here, but don't lock your legs, okay? All right, you guys ready to play good defense with me? Let's go get it, team. Go, one, two, three. One, two, three, good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hey, Kevin from Chi-Town, we gotta play defense so we can generate offense, brother. Keep moving for me. You should feel it in your quads, but that's time or detention. That's how you build proper muscle. This looks like a three-quarter squat, but now we're taking an exercise and making it fundamental and functional movement. Good, good. You can go backwards if you can, forwards if you want to, if you're feeling saucy. We moving all over the living room, baby. All over the living room. Active hands, though. Stay low. Good. You're not going to dribble past me. You're not going to shoot over me. Good. Here we go. 10 seconds. Finish strong for me. Nine, eight, seven, six, finish. Five, three, two, one. Rebecca in New York, how was that? No, it was difficult, but you did it. And I, that's what I'm talking about. Today is all about believing in yourself and achieving, okay? All right, so we play defense and my legs are burning. But have you guys ever seen the three-point contest? It's fun because all you gotta do is jack, jack them up. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. You gotta use your imagination though. So I want you to imagine it's a ball rack. Right here, probably about hip height, okay? Step to your right or to your left of your southpaw. Once you get that ball, get in a shooting stance, it's about staggered stance, hit with the part, and explode up, okay? Jump, just give me a calf extension. Just follow through, okay? The follow through is important. If you miss it, because it's imaginary, you should be making them all, right? So, the most important thing is sink the money ball. It's worth 10 points. Sink that money ball, ready? Let's go. Shoot as many as possible. As many as possible in the thread. Tell me how many you made and how many you missed. <laughs> there we go. All right, tell me your favorite basketball team or your favorite basketball player. Most importantly, just jack them up, baby. Just jack, and it's all next. It's all next right here. Good. I see you, Cam, out in Florida. Get well, Cam. Here we go. Good. Good. We're going. I'm shooting. Now, again, when that money ball is in sight, we got to sink it. I'll let you know. Cause I'll count down from 10. Keep going, good. Remember, if you just need to go up on that cab, that's all right too. Just follow through, good. Now this looks like explosion, good. This looks like a ladder roof done right here. Amanda, California, how many you making? Good, here we go, last 10 seconds, guys. Keep shooting, seven, six, five, four, three, two, money ball, sink it talking about that was 10 points out there guys so we're done with basketball we did the we did the sweet science of boxing and then we went to speed skating right now we played a little defense got a little hoops let's finish with track and field one is near and dear to my heart because i ran track back in the day now i'm not as fast as i used to be but shh, don't tell anybody okay don't tell anybody that so the first exercise or drill that we'll do is called over the hurdle, under the hurdle, just like that. You're going to step over an imaginary hurdle, and then you'll go underneath of an imaginary hurdle. This is good for range of motion and your hip flexors and how well you can get depth in your hips, okay? Ready? Let's go. Over and under. Good. Over. 
Outstanding. This is taking a squat and a lateral move and showing you how you can apply it to functional movement, to professional sports. You don't have to be a world-class athlete to move like one. Over that hurdle. Really drive that leg up and underneath. Good. Erica in Texas, did you used to run track? If not, don't worry. This is your track right here. Good. We're going over. Drive. Drive. Underneath. Sink the hips. Make sure your butt's down and your chest is up. Understand when it gets tough, you're not alone. This is a team sport. We're all a team. We're all a family. We're all positive. Over. 10 seconds, guys. Finish stronger than you started. Promise that to yourself. We'll promise it to one another. Drive up. Good. Go underneath. Three, two, one. Underneath. Standing. That's what I'm talking about, okay? So hurdles were good, but listen up. You're running fast. It's not all about how well you move your legs. It's also about your arm swing. You have to generate force with your upper body so that you can get good knee drive in your lower body. So we're going to work on our arm swings. Take a look. You're on the ground, just like this. I'm going to have my legs straight out, back nice and straight, shoulders back. Now, I want you to get a good forward lean because when you're digging down that track, you're going towards the finish line, you should have a good power angle, okay? All right, so I want you to imagine that there's a bird on both shoulders, but you got a holster in both pockets. So you want to feed the bird while you're putting your gun in the holster. Feed the bird, side arm in the holster. Just like that, okay? All right, so when we start, I want you guys to start 50%, then I'll say turn it up to three quarter speed. You should start feeling yourself bouncing on the floor a little bit, okay? Last 10 seconds, I'ma just say dig for the win, team. All right, so here we go. Make sure you're rotating from the shoulders. Good. Notice, I'm feeding the bird, put my side arm in the holster. Feed the bird, side arm in the holster, 50%. I got a good forward power angle. Good, I'm breathing in through my nose. I'm engaging my core. I see you, Alyssa, out in Tennessee. Good. PFGP, I feel you guys. That's what I'm talking about. Keep moving. Good. All right, now, turn it up a bit. Turn it up. Good, Jessica in Maryland, I see you. Keep moving, keep moving. Now, as you're doing three-quarter speed, you should start feeling your bottom half bouncing off the ground, and you're not even moving your legs. That's force being generated from your upper body. Good, now, when we dig, I would need, really need everything you got, because we got to finish strong, right, team? That's right. Here we go, ready? Yeah, here we go. Just go, keep moving. Rotating from the shoulder, the forward angle. That's what I'm talking about. Keep pushing. Good. Last five, five, four, three, two, one. We got through that bad boy, and that's what I'm talking about. So right now, we've gone through four different sports and did two elements each to see how functional movement and exercise go hand in hand. That shows you guys, if you're doing lunges or squats or shoulder press or bicep curls, what those exercises look like in everyday life, okay? Now, any great workout, work in, has to end with a great cool down. So let's cool down, okay? We'll start right down here in this position, okay? You can also do each one of these standing up. We're gonna do it from our knees right here. Interlock those fingers, raise them above here, breathe in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Into your nose, and out through your mouth. Good. Good, roll your shoulders back a couple of times, and let's do it again. Remember guys, you do not have to be a world-class athlete to be able to move like one. You don't have to be an expert in fitness to know how to move your body. We all did that together today, and that's awesome. Outstanding. Good. Now I want you to take your right hand, go across your body, and pull it together with your left. And hold. Outstanding. I like it. Ray in Florida, I see you, baby. That was a great job. How about that? Every single sport, every single one of you. Gave me everything you got, and that's all I could ever ask. Let's switch hands. Make sure you pull that closer to your body. Feels good. Feels so good. Good. Now, 
Let's stretch our hip flexors again because we worked on a lot of knee drop. So let's take the left leg out, right knee is down, but you can also do this standing up. Now put your hands on your hips and push it down towards the floor. Roll those shoulders back, get your chest out. Ooh, I feel it right here in those hip flexors, okay? If you really pronounce your chest up, you also feel it in your low back and your abdominal chain. Switch legs. Good. Here we go. And then from Arizona, which one of those sports was your favorite? All right? I want you to tell me in that thread. Everybody, which one was your favorite? Good. Now, guys, that's it. We did it together. We went between boxing. Then we went to the ice. And then we went to the basketball court. And then we finished up with track and field. And the best part about it is that we did it together. And because of that, we're all champions. No matter if you're a current athlete, a former athlete, or nobody has played sports before, you can do it and you're a champion. Now, I want you guys to remember every single day at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have these great work-ins. It'll be led by a phenomenal trainer and you'll get an awesome, awesome experience. Now, if you want to, come on back and go to any one of Planet Fitness's social media platforms and they'll be able to show you time and time again these awesome work-ins. But if you want to, download the Planet Fitness app and go to hundreds and hundreds of different exercises. You can put together your own circuit and lead your family through that, keeping everybody healthy and active, okay? Remember, I want you to share this with your family and your friends and your coworkers. When you do, use hashtag United We Move. Hey guys, this is Teddy Savage, signing off from Baltimore, Maryland. I love you, love on each other. Peace.